Hello, everyone. I'm just going to wait here a little bit to see if anyone can pop on today for our day two of our Wonder Woman Mindset training. And I'm going to go and make sure you guys and ladies can see me. Let me know if you're watching live. Let me know if you can hear me. All right, I'm live in both places. All right, I'm going to go here so I can see comments. Hi, Abigail. Let me turn this down. How you doing, beautiful? Okay, so I can see comments. Check out my cup. My life is dope and I do dope things. <laughs> I needed that today. I needed to use this cup today because oh, I'm going through some personal things. And life is not easy. Let me tell you that. Emotional things. But that's a different story for a different day. So we're going to talk about our Wonder Woman mindset and looking gorgeous as usual. Oh, <laughs> thanks, love. Um... So we're going to talk about Wonder Woman Mindset today. If you haven't caught our day one training, we talked mostly about who Wonder Woman is, what her morals are, her passions, her dreams. And then we wrote down our passions and our dreams and our morals and, and made a comparison to see how we compare to the superhero archetype Wonder Woman so that you could visualize and see like, oh my gosh, I have a lot in common with Wonder Woman. I myself am my own Wonder Woman. And so that's what I really wanted you to grasp in day one in our training. If you need to catch up, just comment below um, Wonder Woman day one, and I'll tag you in the video for Wonder Woman day one. But also, let me share, if you don't have our workbook, let me share the workbook for you. This is where you can get the work, work, workbook that I will be using in our training right there right there right there and you know what let me paste it here too in the comments so bit dot oops every time i type in bit it changes it to but no i don't want but we i want bit we <laughs> oh my iphone bit dot ly slash five day Mindset Boot Camp. Let's see if that works. And pin. Okay, so it's in the comments if you need it. Um, to fill, just fill out the form on that little link right here, and then the the workbook will pop up. So let's go to our workbook. Mindset is so important, guys, ladies and gentlemen. It is so important. Here we go. Here's our workbook. When I, you know, I, I always say I've been in direct sales a long time. So two, three, three years, maybe even four or five years ago, I was with a different beauty company and I had built my business from the ground up um, for like the fourth time in a row and I lost everything and it was so defleeting and I lost my team I lost my customers no one was buying from me I was doing vendor shows I was getting no one filling out my leads boxes it was just like it wasn't getting anywhere and it's just like everything I tried was just like no stop I'm not gonna get results and so I was really frustrated and I went online uh, to Facebook and I was looking for groups for like spiritual entrepreneurs because I'm a spiritual individual and I'm an entrepreneur. And so it's like, I need help with me. I need help with me. Like I can't, there must be something wrong with me because I'm doing all these strategies that all the big people in direct sales are doing and I'm not getting results. So it's got to be like a vibration misalignment like there's got to be something wrong where it's just nothing is being 
I'm not attracting anything. So I went to this group for spiritual entrepreneurs and the day that I got in there, this woman, Rebecca Anhalt, she's one of my mentors, she popped in there and she did a, a free, um, or she just did like a video talking about spiritualism and, and I just it was attracted to her. Like, I was just like, oh, this is my person. Like, I just felt, it was like, Ooh, I just felt aligned with her. And so I messaged her and I, I sent her this really long message. And I always laugh about it when I tell the story. I sent her this really long message. And it was basically like me, visualize me like crawling on my hands and knees going, help me. I need help. I don't know what I'm doing wrong and nothing's working. Help me. And so she messaged me back and she said, I can help you. And I, she had a course that was all about mindset and vibrations and listening to your intuition and learning how to recognize your core from an empty cup. And that's so true. And there are all the strategies out there which are great, but also I do believe that there's a spiritual aspect to this where like attracts like. So if you're negative, you're going to attract negative people. And if you're positive, you're going to attract positive people. And so that's when I learned like mindset, kind of like what you think about comes about. Have you ever heard about that saying? What you think about comes about. And that's when I really realized, okay, I really have to work on me and my mindset if I want to be successful in the long run, because if not, I'm just going to keep trying all these different tips and tricks and getting nowhere and it's just wasting my time and it's making me frustrated. So that's why I created this course because I know the number one struggle that we as entrepreneurs face daily, not even as entrepreneurs, but just as women in general, as a human being in general, the number one battle we face is the battle within ourselves, within our mind, is our mindset. So that's why I created this this course and I've always looked up to the Wonder Woman archetype and I love the Wonder Woman franchise. And so I just connected with her, Wonder Woman. And when I started applying these strategies, these mindset strategies and techniques into my life, I started seeing a change in my business. Now it's not instant. I'm not saying like, oh my gosh, you're gonna be like super rich by the end of this course, no. It doesn't work like that. These are things that I've learned and applied over the last five years, four to five years, and I've seen results during that time. So that's just my little backstory. Now we're going to do something so much fun and so spiritual that uh, I love. I'm so excited for day two. I love mantras. We are going to make our own Wonder Woman mantra. And let me make sure I'm not missing any questions. I love you too, Abigail. Oh, Abigail just inspires me all the time. She is fearless. She is her own Wonder Woman. She goes out there and she does what it takes to put herself out there. Like she goes and meets with owners at small boutiques, at beauty shops. She makes business cards. She does vendor shows. Alfie! Sorry, I had to get my dog. My husband has a very important meeting right now, so I have to make sure my dog is contained. Come here, Ralph. Come say hi to everybody. Okay, so Wonder Woman Mantra, day two. I am my own Wonder Woman because. So allow yourself 20 minutes of quiet time to consider these questions that will help you create your Wonder Woman Mantra. Don't hold anything back. Be truthful and honest to yourself so you can create your best mantra. And the three questions you're going to ask yourself are, what do you feel you're lacking in your work or business life, your health, well-being, or your family relationships? What capabilities and or characteristics do you wish you had right now? Example, to be fearless, to be more patient, etc. What are your strengths? What do people usually compliment you for? And so I've created these two journal pages for you to answer these pages. And so I'm just going to talk about these questions more in depth, in depth and answer them myself. Let me make sure I can. We're having trouble streaming to Facebook. Oh, no. I hope you can see me. 
Let me know if you guys can see me. I can see me. Okay, let me go to my other group real quick where this is live. <laughs> no, I'm in there too. Yep. Okay. So, I think things are okay. Let me go back to the wonderful group. Sorry, technical difficulties. Whenever I know I'm talking about something spiritual that is powerful, I tend to have technical difficulties. Okay. So, hi, Anna. Okay. So what do you feel you're lacking with your work and business life? This is not going to be part of your mantra. Well, it could be part of your mantra. It depends on what you make. But for me at the time when, when I was learning about this, I felt I was lacking bravery or lacking, yeah, I was lacking bravery or confidence to Confidence that I had what it what it takes to be successful in direct sales. Oh, yeah I felt I was lacking that I felt like I was a horrible leader I felt like I was horrible with my customers like there must be something wrong with me if my team won't stay There must be something wrong with me if I'm losing my customers. There must be something wrong with me in general um, if I go to vendor shows and no one's I felt have this beautiful table and no one's filling out the the um form to win a prize like i'm giving away product and no one wants a free product like i was like me 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 there must be something wrong with me because other people were having the sex success in my company at that time it's not the same company i'm with now but i was like why me why me why not me and so that is a hard question to ask ourselves you know, we typically blame everyone else but ourselves. We typically blame the company. We typically blame the compensation plan. We typically blame the products. And really, those aren't the problems. Really, the problem is maybe I'm being too pushy or maybe I'm being too salesy, you know, and especially in cosmetics and where we're majority of us are, are selling to women, women can feel if you're not authentic. Women can feel if you're not, if you just have an agenda out to make money on them or to push product on them, they can feel that. People can feel that. And so I was like, what am I doing wrong? Because it can't be the company because there's other people that are very successful in this company and the product is affordable and it works for people, so it's gotta be me. So that's a hard question to ask ourselves is what am I doing wrong? What What is it that I'm putting out there that, that is not vibing right, causing all these blocks? There's something blocking the success coming your way and that's what we're trying to figure out in this course, in this five-day course. So that's a tough question to ask. Um, and I hope that it brings some light, some light to people. Okay, number question number two. What capabilities and or characteristics do you wish you had right now? Example, to be fearless, to be more patient, etc. For me, I wanted to be fearless. I wanted to be fearless and to go out there and, and get the results I wanted in my business. And because I kept because I had lost everything again in my business, I was really deflated. So I didn't, I wasn't fearless. I wasn't brave. I wasn't confident. Um, I was full of self-doubt. I was full of what ifs. I was full of maybe this isn't for me. I was full of I don't have what it takes, all those things. So think about that and what are the opposite? Like, what do you want? I want to be fearless. I want to have the confidence that I know what it takes to be successful in this business. I want to have the confidence that I'm helping people and changing their lives. I want to have um, the, I want to be that person that everyone looks up to for help with their skincare. Like, oh, 
she knows a lot about skincare or oh she's really good with makeup i want to go to her like because i'm with makeup and skincare those are the things i wanted to do so write down what characteristics or traits or skills or um yeah skill like a certain skill set you want um and write that down in the journal pages now what are your strengths what do people usually compliment you for so think about what you are right where you are right now in your life and your business and what do you what are you really good at for me i do have a lot of patience my husband's always told me that oh my gosh you have the most patience i've ever met i have a lot of patience and usually when i meet someone new in like a customer or a team member and i'm helping them with problems usually the response i get is oh she was so patient that's i'm really good at that i have lots of patience i'm also very calm under stressful situations that's just a gift that god has given me i'm very calm in high stress situations and i am not reactive for the most part depends on what it is but i'm not reactive to constructive criticism like you can tell me you're not happy with me and i will listen and i'll contemplate on that and then make my own conclusion on that constructive criticism so those are my strengths so think about what are your strengths what are you really good at what do people usually compliment you for what do people usually go to you for for help or assistance like think about that and write that in down in the journal and then this is how we're going to use those answers from question two and your answers from question three and we're going to put them in these boxes so if, as answers from your questions two you're going to put here like what was question two i want to be fearless or have more patience so you would put fearless patience um confident beauty influencer makeup artist skincare expert quest or answers from number three would be um calm under pressure very like nice or very easy to talk to great listener things like that that's what you would put for your answers in number or this box in number three <laughs> then here you're gonna put Fill in the mantra below with the characteristics and strengths listed above. So I am my own Wonder Woman because I am fearless in my business and help women feel more, let's see, what did I put here? Um, I am fearless in my business because I am easy to talk to with my team something like that so using your question your answers from page 10 from answers from question page 2 and question 3 on page 10 and you're putting them here to make your own wonder woman mantra so i went in to google and just typed in mantras and went to images and was looking around to see like where can we get examples of some good mantras so i saw this one here it says I will achieve achieve great thing thing. I will achieve great things through small steps. So it could be I am my own woman, Wonder Woman, because I am fearless in achieving my dreams one step at a time. That could be your Wonder Woman mantra. What are some other good ones? Let's see. Do here's one. <clears throat> I am my own wonder woman because I always find a way to solve problems. I am a problem solver. I am my own woman wonder woman because I will always find a way to solve problems that could be your wonder woman mantra too uh, let's see let's look at another one i am my own wonder woman because 
I manifest the things I want by believing in my power. I am my own Wonder Woman because I manifest the things that I want by believing in my own power. I am my own, own Wonder Woman because I believe in the abundance that is around me. There's another one. I am my own Wonder Woman because I am stronger than the no's I hear. I am my own Wonder Woman because I am stronger than the no's I hear. I will keep going despite the no's I hear. So these are all great examples of how you can make your own Wonder Woman mantra. Look around on Google, like Google, um, you don't even have to just type mantras in Google. You could put positive mantras for teachers, for depression, for confidence, for mental health, for students, for life, for anxiety. You could do the same set of mantras. You could put affirmations and, look, and affirmations for women, for men, for students, for anxiety, for black women, for success. You could type in business mantras. Oh my gosh, there's a the sky is the limit of what you can look for, for examples, to build your perfect Wonder Woman mantra so that when you go through the tough days, when you're having a rough day in your direct sales business, you can look at your mantra, your Wonder Woman mantra, and repeat it out loud and have it give you that extra step of confidence to keep going. Because the whole point of this five-day challenge is to not give up on yourself, to Pick yourself back up, sharpen your sword, and keep going. So I hope that this is helpful. I want to see what your Wonder Woman mantra is. If you are feeling inspired, would you please, please, please comment below what your Wonder Woman mantra is so we can all see what you've come up with. Your mantra can inspire someone else to create a similar mantra or could help someone through a tough day that they're going through right now. You have no idea how your positiveness can make a huge impact in someone's life. You being positive can make a huge impact in someone's life. Oh, speaking of that, I want to look up. I saw this Wonder Woman, speaking of Wonder Woman mantras, I was looking, I Googled for it the other day, Wonder woman quotes and there was a quote in the wonder woman movie that was just was like what i just said and so let me find it for you <laughs> sorry i had something down my lip that was bothering me let's see Doo -doo -doo. this might not be the right site no. And not close. Oh, isn't this so true? Let me share my screen. Okay, let me go back. It says, my life hasn't been what you probably think it has. We all have our struggles. Isn't that the truth? I know we put our life on social media and we we make our lives look like oh it's so happy and everything's perfect but really we have no idea the battles that people are fighting behind that computer screen we have no idea what the battles people are fighting behind that phone and so we all that's why i say your positiveness can make a huge impact in someone's life and you have no idea the changes you can make by being someone's source of light and there was, I hope, oh, was it in this website? I looked at so many the other day. I don't think it was this website. I think it was a different one. Was it this? Here we go. This is the site I was on.
Here it is. Because no matter how small an act of kindness or generosity or simple positivity you put out into the world, it will make a difference. So that's why I'm always encouraging you to share uh, your, whoops, to share your um, results so far with this challenge, with this mindset, Wonder Woman Mindset Challenge, because your positiveness, your act of kindness, your generosity, even though it seems small, can make a huge difference to someone, someone else's life right now. So please, please, please share your Wonder Woman mantras below so that we can all be inspired by you and be our own Wonder Woman ourselves. Have a great day, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Have a great day. If you need help with any, anything, please let me know. Just message me. And I'm excited to see your Wonder Woman mantras. Bye.